Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for coming back for another motivational cleaning video. Today I'm sharing my new year prep clean with me. I like to clean all areas of my house before the new year for a fresh start. The areas I'm focusing on today are the ones we tend to forget about or I only do annually. So lots of decluttering, cleaning, and organizing, a ton of dusting. I haven't gotten around to my laundry room in a long while. I have junk drawers in my house and I just don't wanna start the new year like this. I'm starting in the kitchen with the cabinets, removing everything. I'm going to dust, wipe it down, wipe down the outside, and I'm gonna do this on all of the cabinets, upper and lower. And I know I still have my Christmas decor up and it would make more sense to clean after I take it down, but I'm sure I can clean around it. My decor is really simple. This is only part one. In the next part, I will be doing more deep cleaning like baseboards, blinds, dusting, deep cleaning my fridge and pantry. And then for when I do take down my Christmas decor, I'll do the garage, which is a complete mess. But I feel like that made sense for me because that's where I store my seasonal decor. And since everything's a mess right now, that's just the way I'm going to do it. I'm using this hand duster randomly. It's actually for my car, but the top shelves I don't use because I can't reach them. So there's just dust up there. I don't really need to wipe them down. And also I like to pick up the dust with something dry before I go in with my cleaning solution. I'm already hot girl. I'm wearing this bodysuit and I I don't know, I didn't feel comfortable wearing it on camera. I still look cute, but I tied a little sweater around my waist just to keep it a little bit more modest because I am going to be bending a lot in this video. When I took my glasses down, I realized they were so dusty and I wanted to wash them in the dishwasher before I put them back, so that's why I didn't put them in. And that's something my mom does now that I think about it almost every new year or every year, so she will wash all of the glassware. She has a lot, like a ton, way more than me. And we don't use it very often. We always just use like those pink plastic cups or water bottles, so we don't really use the glassware. When we have wine and parties and champagne, we use party cups. We don't grab those. And we used to, but a lot of them have broken. I think I have one white wine glass that came in a set of six, maybe like five. They're all odd numbers, so... Our parties get a little bit out of control sometimes and we break things without realizing. That's why I ended up getting plastic champagne flutes and just using party cups. But maybe I'll replace them. I don't know. We'll see. I know you've been down thinking about him again. I know that your heart's been broken You should try and let it go and stop being yourself you guys saw I tossed the hand duster off because after I swiped on the microwave, like the really top part, it was all greasy. That part and the cabinets on top and especially the spice cabinet get the dirtiest. I didn't wipe down the outside of my spices because I wash my hands in between everything while I'm cooking. I cook all the time. None of my spices or anything in this cabinet is expired. But not too long ago, Ruby came into this cabinet and she was like, why do we have something from 2020? And we busted out laughing. So make sure you guys check those expired foods and are throwing them away. Let's go out and lose our minds, forget all about him You, you You can put on your dress, dance into your favorite song 
my Tupperware cabinet is always the worst. I have my meal prep containers in here, my own Tupperware, like the glass ones. I have a few plastic ones, random ones from my mom's house, my sister's house. Some are missing because I took them to family or friend's house, so I'm gonna try to make sense of it. Normally, I just don't care, but since we're filming this video, I might as well make it look nice. And actually, I like it a lot more now. The ones way at the top I don't use or don't belong to me. Then I was looking at them thinking, should I put the lids on? Might look a little bit better and I love the way this turned out. Sometimes when I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we would carry on then We'd do anything for what we started Someone said, why do I act shocked every time I see dust? And I replied that I was dramatic and I am. Um, I don't see the top of my fridge all the time and it's black. I only do this when I clean the cabinets. So it's a little bit shocking to see how much dust is up there. The cabinet on top of the fridge doesn't really have anything in it except for like old manuals from when we moved in. And I was picking off little pieces of plastic that I had never noticed from the fridge. This cabinet all the way on top is where I keep um, adult medicine, kid medicine, our water bottles, I have tea, honey, mugs, and all of my supplements at the bottom. I skipped two cabinets on the other side because one had nothing in it and the other one was just my baking stuff. I wanted to speed this part up. I didn't realize how long this was going to take me to do and film. Normally I only speed up four times, but for this video, especially in the kitchen, I sped up eight. I completely forgot that this day was Wednesday and I had to go pick up the kids and then I made some teriyaki chicken. This is so good. I'm definitely going to be sharing that recipe in the vlog. Now I'm starting on the drawers. This is something I really only do once a year. Um, I'm taking everything out, wiping it down, and then putting everything back. 
I use my air fryer all the time and things splatter behind and just like around the cabinets. I know my cabinets all look clean and they're not. They're just white and it's kind of far away. But they definitely have splatters on them, especially in this area around the stove. And then of course when I'm washing dishes, things splatter and the water runs down and it dries. You can't really see that, but it's there. This is not normally how I set this drawer up. I do keep some leftover party stuff in here, but they actually belong in the pantry. This isn't really meant to be a junk drawer, but it does get messy every so often. I have like pens, pencils for the kids, highlighters. Um, a lot of my filming equipment, like not equipment equipment, like my batteries, my battery packs, I have a ton of those, and just little things that I use for filming, lens cloths, packing tape. It is kind of random, but it all works. This is a little bit later, now I'm gonna do all the lower cabinetry and I'm not gonna talk because I've been talking a lot I feel like at the beginning of the video so let's just enjoy some music for now.
I cleaned and organized this one not too long ago in a reel on Instagram. None of my cleaning cloths are in here. I feel like I never even have time to fold them and put them away anymore. I use them constantly. So that's why they're not in here. Some of them are in the washing machine and some are in the dryer. All throughout this video, I'm washing cleaning cloths because I used so many.
Okay, so for now, I'm pretty much done with the kitchen. Like I said, I'm going to wash those glasses in the dishwasher, but my dishwasher is going. I did go ahead and wipe down all my cabinetry because I was stepping on them. I know you guys love that. There's my pile of cleaning cloths, and I know y'all saw that pile of laundry on the couch. We're not going to worry about that for this video. And I didn't scrub the sink or wash my cutting board because I still need to make dinner. Now in the living room in this entertainment center, the drawers are not meant for this, but I don't know where else to put this stuff and I don't always feel like going into the garage. This is just like screws and Allen keys and random things from building when we first moved in, but I don't wanna get rid of them because what if I might need them one day? Um, that pink stuff is blush that's spilled in here. I don't know how long ago it's been in there forever and I've just clearly been throwing stuff on top of it. So I'm going to take everything out, grab my battery organizer. I have to wipe a lot of it down because there's blush on everything. I didn't organize it like super well, but you'll see it looked okay. I'm standing in the corner I see you from across the room It's kind of crowded here But I know you see me too Everybody's singing oh Everybody's singing oh I don't know what it is about you It must be in the way you move Just say you want and this is where I keep some of my filming equipment also. I feel like I have it sprinkled all around the house. That's also a whole drawer full of our odd socks. These two drawers have nothing in them but some like wood chips and crumbs. So I'm going to wipe those down. And then I'm thinking that I can add some more uh, throw blankets on this side. I didn't really bother with this drawer, it's just cables for the TV, I think the TV legs and some old remotes. Now into the entryway, I'm going to tidy it up really quick. My main thing for this area is to clean the console that I'm sitting in front of, where we keep our um, like hair stuff, lotions, deodorant, lip gloss, whatever the kids need in the morning before they go off to school. The other side we have like, or I have like hats and sunglasses. And then the shoe console gets really dirty on the inside from all of our shoes being in there. So I'm going to clean that really good.
Feels like I'm drunk on you. It's almost like you make me fly. And when I look at you smile, I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you. It feels like I'm drunk on you. It feels like I'm drunk on you. It's kind of late in the video to mention this. Also, I have Amir at home with me today. That's why you can hear him in the background. But my cleaning solution is not the one that I normally use. Remember when I said that I added too much soap that one time and it was kind of too bubbly? But it was perfect for cleaning down my cabinets or anywhere like on the shoe console. I feel comfortable using it on um, these surfaces this time because there's almost no alcohol in it. Now this is the next day, I'm in my laundry room. I've been dying to do this, it's so bad. All my cleaning tools that I cleaned in that reel, and I think I put it in a short also, I've just put in here, haven't even put them back into the garage yet. So I took everything out, and it's super dusty in here, of course, because I'm doing laundry all the time. There's a lint everywhere, so I'm gonna try my best to get all of the lint out. I obviously cannot move these machines on my own. The first thing I did was organize the baskets. The insides were really nasty, so I went ahead and wiped them down and then reorganized everything. This is stuff I don't use very often, and then in the other two baskets, I have my caddy that I use all the time and my laundry supplies. My laundry room is all clean. I did my best without being able to move the machines, but I really want to one day. I feel like it's going to be so satisfying. That's pretty much it for this video, but the last two things I wanted to mention was to go through your closets and the clutter. Get rid of the stuff you're not wearing anymore. I know who am I to talk. I have a ton of stuff, but I need all of this. And also declutter your office, all that old mail. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll make more like this. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you all in my next video.